Welcome to episode 1 of our Introduction to Twine series. Last time we covered the basics of, the, of Twine and the Twine Editor. Today we are going to learn about story formats and how they allow us to customize our game. Let's get started! At Twine's core is the multiple story formats built around it. Think of Twine like an operating system and story formats as a shell. Twine gives you the platform to run your games, and story formats determine the features that will be available to you when you develop your games, as well as the interface that the players interact with. They are how you customize Twine. There are many story formats included with Twine, and many more that you can download yourself. Each format has different syntax, set of features, and look. So it's important to decide on a story format before you start developing your game. Let's take a look at some of the formats included with Twine. Click on your story's title and open up the menu. There you will see an option for change story format. We'll click on that and it will load all the story formats included in Twine. Now you will see that Harlow is already selected. Harlow is the default story format of Twine 2. It is a very simple story format that is ideal for writers who just want to make a game without knowing much, too much programming. Harlow is focused at the core ideas of the Twine game engine. Text should be dynamic and engaging without requiring the author to understand complex HTML, CSS, or JavaScript. Harlow is perfect if you want to use, if you use the Twine 2 editor, as it has a custom UI built in to support many of the features you'll use in Harlow, such as variables and conditional statements, as you can see here. If we hit play test, you can see that Harlow is the uh, format we were using before in our previous video. You can click on links and you'll see there's a sidebar to go back and forward. That's pretty much it. Harlow's very simple. I'm not the most experienced with Harlow, uh, but it is generally a great format if you need something simple but powerful. Let's check out Snowman next. Snowman is a very minimal uh, story format. It is more suited to experienced developers as you'll have to write most of your functionality for, of your game yourself in JavaScript. It has no built-in macros, but includes the underscore JS, marked, and jQuery JavaScript libraries. I don't know very much about it, but I'd not recommend it for your first Twine game unless you have some programming experience. When you click on a passage, you'll see that the toolbar has disappeared. This is because each story format has different syntax and way of doing things. The Twine editor only has built-in functions for Harlow. You have to write your game's logic by hand when using other story formats. Now let's click on the play button, and you'll see how the interface has changed. You'll see that we still have our choices, but they are lined up next to each other. You also see that there is no sidebar, and the default user interface is black text on white. If you want anything more complex, you're going to have to write it yourself. The last story format we'll cover is my favorite. The Sugar Cube is the story format that we'll be using in this tutorial series. It's powerful with many features, including an extensive macro system and a built-in saving system. It is simple to get up and running with, but has the ability to make complex games and is a great middle ground between Harlow and Snowman. You can modify almost anything in SugarCube with a little JavaScript. When we click on the play button, you'll see that it's very different from the other story formats. SugarCube has a prominent sidebar that includes an undo, redo, save, and restart button. This sidebar is extremely customizable and can be used to show players information like health, money, and time. You can change the, uh, the color scheme for each story format with a little CSS, so don't let the color scheme determine what you use for your game. 
All these story formats are free and open source, so you can contribute and modify a story format to suit your needs. There are other story formats out there, like Chapter Book, but I have no experience with them, so we'll have to cover them in another video. Harlow, Snowman, and Sugar Cube are the most popular story formats available in Twine. Each one is unique and has strengths and weaknesses, but they are all powerful and give you the ability to add mechanics to your games. I've included a link to each format's documentation in the description below to help you decide on the format that's right for your game. In our next video, we'll start using Sugarcube to build a simple game using variables and conditional logic. If you like what you see, please subscribe and follow me on Odyssey. Please head over to our website linked below to support this channel and read our tutorials in a text format.